Hey everyone, this is Joe from Speedway Motors. And like a lot of you, I'm sure I'm finding that I have a lot more time to spend in my garage these days. So I'm gonna give you a short tour of my project, which is being built in what's maybe the world's smallest garage. Uh, this is a 30 Model A two-door sedan, building it like a 50s era hot rod. Uh, it's got a six inch chop, uh, really Chevy small block. Um, the top is all kind of hacked together at this point. Everything is basically on the whole car, just kind of tacked and being held with zip ties. You can see this, the windshield frame is, is zip tied on right now. And uh, the idea here is to make it look a little bit more like a, like a lakes racer, lay the A-pillars back and uh, put a fabricated windshield header on it to, to look a little bit more like a 32. As you can see, there's some square tube bracing just tacked in place right now to keep the body from falling in on itself. But, uh, you know, in general, going for an early hot rod look, I want this thing to be kind of like a time machine. Uh, the engine is a 55 Chevy 265, uh, first year of the small block, which I think is kind of cool. Um, Edelbrock 3.2 intake, three Speedway 97s on top. The front suspension is mostly old stuff. Uh, it's an original Model A axle that's been dropped and uh, 41 brakes. Uh, there's a Speedway reversed eye D-arch spring on it to bring the front end down. It's on a fabricated cross member to lower the front a little more. And you know, this car has kind of been built over years of working on it and then not working on it and so on. So there's the evidence of it having had to sit outside sometimes. And you know, it's not a great way to build a hot rod, but when you're young and you have to move around a lot, sometimes that's the only way. Now that it's in my garage, you know, small though it may be, I'm doing my best to uh, make some progress on it. Just got the steering put together. Um, it's using a Mopar box and you can see I'm using a 40 wheel. And I was just able to sit in the car for the first time, which was kind of exciting. You know, sit in it and kind of see what the driving position is gonna be like. Uh, you know, make vroom vroom noises. I know you've done it, don't tell me you haven't. But anyway, as you can see, the garage, like I say, it's not much, but this is, I consider this to be sort of my sanctuary. Uh, this is where I come to get away from the world. Uh, you know, at night after the kids are in bed, come out here and get as much done as I can. Um, you know, even when the world is less scary than it is now, uh, you know, I consider this place to be a, a safe space to come and think, um, you know, I'm doing even more of that now. So hopefully next on my little hot rod, I've got to do some front shock mounts, figure out what I'm going to do there. It's already got the speedway lowers on it. So I need to measure and, and fabricate an upper, uh, then hopefully do a radiator and, uh, get the headlights mounted. Um, you know, just do a little bit where I can eventually get to the point where I can blow it apart and final weld the chassis before I put the body on and start to brace up and, and final weld the chop and everything on the body. So there's plenty left to do. Uh, you know, it just, it only looks like a car, but just barely, as you can see, my seat is a piece of plywood and a couple pieces of tubing. So there, we got a ways to go, but I'm going to keep working on it. And, uh, I hope you guys are making good progress on your projects. And send us a picture. Send us pictures or videos or whatever you got of your shop, of your project. We want to see them, uh, you know, as a way to all kind of stick together and keep each other moving forward. Be sure to send us what you've got, whether it's a, a 100 by 100 shop that's full of cars or whether it's a, a card table in the basement with model cars on it. We want to see what you're working on. So be sure and share it with us and uh, take care, everybody.